What's your craziest real estate story? And I, I started in the property <laughs> management business and in the, particularly in the 90s, it was a rough time. You know, there's a recession. There were, um, so I was, I've been surrounded in courtyards by gang members with guns. I've been, I've had guns on me. I've had, uh, I've had all kinds of, uh, yeah, it's uh, threats. You know, if you don't return a security deposit, someone wants to come bang the door on your office and pull out a gun. Then I didn't get a, I didn't get a gun in my office, but they came and were very wow. threatening because they didn't get their security deposit. Of course, they destroyed the place. Of course, they're not going to get their security deposit. So uh, it could be a little dangerous to be on the front line. So that's why people should hire beachfront property management. Let you do the, let you do that hard work. <laughs> we just want to collect our checks, our distributions. <laughs> I used to, so, back in the day, I used to go at midnight to go look at all the lighting on my buildings. Midnight. And sometimes Why? they were in Linwood and Compton and these kind of places. So you'd be going, driving around at midnight, looking at the lighting of your building, how the lights are in the courtyard, the outside, because lighting is very good security. But right, you're right. in a, good, you know, you're point. sort of, take, yeah, so so that's that's what I used to do in the good old days. Why not 8 p.m. instead of midnight? <laughs> well, because I thought people would be sleeping by midnight. Apparently it wasn't the case. <laughs> 